I'm so happy for Becky trying to find trying to find herself instead of being in a relationship unlike ALR who can't find her rectum with peace and love. Hey y'all, today we're sifting through Amberlynn's old live streams and vlogs to find out the truth about how Amberlynn met wifey. Let's go. Our story begins back in 2021. Amberlynn and Beck had been together for four years. They went live with the title, We Have Something to Tell You. All right, so do you want to tell them? Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and just say it. Um, we have broke up. It happened Sunday. So because the dates are going to become very important, I made this handy dandy little calendar to help us keep track of what happened when. So like Beck said, they broke up on the 27th of June. Four days later, they went live with the title, Everything Will Be Okay, Right? Amber Lynn, you should do the dating game Zoom style to find some contestants for future Miss Reed. That'd be interesting. But I, I don't do that for a long time. Because I don't think you're ready for a real, another relationship. Oh, Becky said that if I got with someone, she'd be jealous. Yeah, because I'm not breaking up with you because I don't love you. So Beck would later state that she broke up with Amberlynn because they wanted different things and because she couldn't love Amberlynn the way that she wanted to be loved. They then did a live stream on the 6th titled, I'm So Confused. They were playing a card game when the question was asked, who is more likely to use the app Tinder? Are you going on Tinder already? No, but... Actually, you know what? It's going to be more you than it will ever be me from here on out. I'm never dating online again because give, some hood rat... Give it a month. Some hood rat give for it a sure. Month. <laughs> Wait, you think I'm going to find someone in a month? No. Nah. I just know you move on. I'm you. never dating again. Whose turn is it? So what we didn't know was that on the ninth, just 12 days after the breakup, wifey was sliding into Amberlynn's DMs. She said, hey, future wife. I said, ha, funny. <laughs> she said, LOL, maybe I should have introduced myself first before I let you know we're bound to date at some point. I said, I don't think so, but I love the confidence. She said, <laughs> I'm living. You have to be confident when talking to someone gorgeous. I said, LOL. I don't know if I could take you seriously. Trolls be on fire lately. And <laughs> this is the part. This is the part. <laughs> This is the part, babe, I know you're watching right now. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. This is what she says. <laughs> she says. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, I mean, don't take this the wrong way, but I'm not entirely sure who you are. I just happened to see your pic on my friend's IG and decided to hit you up. But I do see you might be taken, so I'll back off, lol. And I said, nope, I'm single, but thank you. I appreciate it. I have a YouTube channel, so trolls love to mess with me, lol. And she said, fuck the trolls, stay gorgeous, and hit me up if you're ever down to do the friend thing. And I was like, went from wife to dating to friends. Hey, I love that, lol. <laughs> she said, well, you turn me down for the other two. And then I just ignored it. And I was like, so what are you up to? <laughs> and then a few days later, she ended up asking how my week's going. And I'm just like, I'm okay, you. And she said, you sure? I've learned that when people say they're okay, they're usually not. And then something about that, I was just like, okay. She seems genuine. Less than a week after she started to talk to wifey and less than three weeks since the breakup, Amberlynn certainly sounds like she's ready to move on. Amber, you look nice today. Whenever you're ready to get married, I'm ready. What's your name? Back what's off, your, what's your chicken. She's not ready for that. 
I can do what I want. If I want to get married right now, I can get married. Go ahead, but I won't be your friend no more. You won't be my friend if I got married. Right now, no. Why? Because you're moving on, and uh, it's going to do nothing but hurt you and the person in the end. So, it's very unhealthy. I think that you're just a little jellyfish. No, you want to go ahead? Go ahead. Go get married. Okay, what if, married, girl. What, okay, what if I started dating someone? This soon? Okay, flirting hardcore. I, you could do what you want. Like, hardcore. Like, get to um, my pants. We'll see. I'm I, a very rebound type of gal. But I'm not doing it. Liar! Just a little over three weeks after proclaiming she was never dating online again, she fires up a live stream called New Wifey. Dolly, welcome to Stream Queens. Um, I am Amberlynn's new wifey. She just she just doesn't respond to my DMs, but I know we have a connection. I love that. No, the, the wifey thing is like an inside joke um, situation. So I just got here. Where's Becky? The title real or just... Okay, so the title says new wifey because it's a joke. Do I have someone currently calling me wifey? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna be honest, but it's not like that. I promise like it's not it's No relationship is happening at all. I can promise you that Why the fuck you lying? Two days later, we got the live stream Francis what you mean the first of many clues Amber Lynn would drop about the identity of her new boo Who's Francis? I don't even know who Francis is like No idea. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Y'all are gonna think I'm crazy. It's just an inside joke. I promise. How are you guys doing? Who's <laughs> Francis? Inside joke, I promise. Just a friend. Inside joke with her new potential girlfriend, I promise. Not like that. Um, I don't have a new girlfriend. I promise you guys. If I did, I would be telling you. Um, it seems like you're heavily flirting with someone already. No. I mean, <laughs> I don't like, okay, so I'm a 30 year old and if I want to flirt with someone, like I should be allowed to. Dropping hints about the identity of your new love interest seems a little bit different from flirting, but hey, what do I know? It's like, I'm not looking for a relationship or anything like that. So, I mean, that's, you know, it's like, whatever. You look so guilty. There's no, like, I'm not guilty. You have that new person in your life glow, like how you smile at their texts. Um, I'm just talking to this person. Like they, they do make me smile and it is what it is, but it's not like that. Like we're not going to be in a relationship. So you have a new wifey. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, no, <sighs> I don't understand what's happening. I don't know. We're just like friends that, you know. You have found a new girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. I promise. Trust me on that. That is not a girlfriend. She don't want a relationship and neither do I. Girl, I don't believe that for a second. We can see the disappointment all over your face. Um, It's time to leave the South, pick up and move to California. I don't want to. I don't think I want to go there. I'm thinking maybe like New York. Move to New York. Oh, someone wants me to move to New York. Hmm. Wifey's from New York, OVS. No, I don't know. If this was Becky talking about a wifey on live stream, you'd literally feel so sad. Why are you doing her like that? Um, I'm not doing her like anything. Like, I've been on FaceTime with her and... Becky's right there like it's not like some big weird thing like Becky broke up with me like she's she's a, she was over it <laughs> That brings us to exactly one month after the breakup Amberlynn went live with the title Bonnie and Clyde Is Francis still a thing? Are you really close friends? Or are you more than that? We're good friends Why is it that you feel like Becky didn't help you or support you as much as wifey she like, gives me goals and, like, makes me, like, put out positive, like, affirmations pretty much. Like, before I got on live, she was like, 
say that you're gonna kill it and you're gonna kill it so it's just like things like that like she's helping me want to like walk more and like giving me little goals i think i've never really had someone that i'm like into like that like want to help me with stuff like that like becky just she didn't have she didn't seem like she had the desire to help me um like wifey does pardon me for the rant i'm about to go on but it needs to be said Amberlynn, I really hope you're referring to the help and support in regards to weight loss. Because if you mean wifey supported you more in general, I have a big problem with that. Positive affirmations over FaceTime is nothing compared to helping you take sponge baths for a year, driving you wherever you wanted to go, sometimes even hours away, going out and getting you food or whatever you needed from Walmart nearly every day for years wiping your butt for you when you were too sore after surgery to do it yourself, and probably the most egregious thing of all, spending the few remaining days her mother had left when she was dying from cancer to stay home with you because you didn't want to feel lonely and you needed someone to go buy you fast food every day. For you to say someone telling you you're going to kill it on your live stream is more supportive than the person who did all the things I just listed? Girl, this is why people don't like you. How long have you known wifey? Mm, I don't know. I really don't. Maybe a month. <laughs> but we talk literally every day, all day. Will you move in with wifey? No, we're not in a relationship. You sit on a throne of lies. Have you officially moved on from Becky? Yeah, like me and Becky have talked and it's like, I'm so honestly so grateful. Like this is gonna sound so bad. Grateful that we broke up because our friendship is like better than ever. And there's just more things I want in life. And Becky can't give those things to me. So. This bitch, this bitch, this bitch, this bitch. What's the nicest thing wifey has said to you? Mm, there's been a lot of nice things and I think that when she says that's my girl oh my god that is so I don't know what it is I love it so much like that's my girl uh ah. what do you miss most about being with Becky mm. nothing why are you the way that you are well Speaking of positive, I weighed myself again today and I'm just like losing weight. I am like doing this thing. I don't even understand. Ain't I, Becky? Mm -hmm. I'm like so She's proud doing of myself. Her exercises and everything. I am like so beyond proud of myself. I just can't even put it into words. It's because I have like the su like support. Like I have someone who's like, this isn't shade against Becky, but I like have someone in my corner that's like a different type of like motivation i don't know how well, to see, explain here's it the thing this person is already fit and healthy and whatnot and here i am struggling myself so how was i supposed to help you in those ways yeah when i can't even help myself in those ways right which i'm working on it <sighs> yeah poor beck like i know amberlynn said she's not shading her but come on how else is she supposed to take what you just said you're basically saying if you hadn't been with beck all those years you'd be so much smaller and we all know that's not true but of course beck is gonna blame herself talking to this girl has just made me realize like that's how you're supposed to feel when um you like someone a lot so yeah, I didn't feel that with Becky and me and Becky have talked a lot about it recently and we realized that we never had that. And I'm getting emotional. Sorry, I don't want to like get emotional, but um, we did talk about it last night where we admitted to each other that uh, we never had like that spark. <sighs> you wouldn't touch Becky with a 10 foot pole. That's a bit rough, isn't it? No, I meant like sexually. <laughs> I'm good Whoa. with that. <laughs> I wouldn't touch you sexually with a damn <laughs> Why? What? Why? Why wouldn't I touch you sexually? Yeah. Wait, is this really happening? Yeah, right now. I am leaving this planet. No, you gotta tell me. You gotta tell me. Because we're not together. <laughs> okay, I mean, it really sounds like 
Becky, no offense. No. But you're ugly, girl. Oh, Amberlynn definitely knows what it sounds like, and she definitely chose to word it that way on purpose. We're going to end it there for now. Keep an eye out for part two, and don't forget, let me know all your thoughts down in the comments.